Hello everyone, uh, this is Radhish coming from India. I do my Master in Ecumenical uh, Study in Bonn University. I would like to reflect a few thoughts from the scripture that is uh, taken from Gospel according to Luke chapter 23 verses 44 through 46. Now it was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. Then the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was torn in two. And when Jesus had cried out with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. And this gospel was written by Luke. And Luke is a physician, traveler, he was an investigator, historian, theologian. So therefore he has um, uh, clearly investigated the events of life that occurred in Jesus' uh, life uh, and uh, written an orderly account. And in this uh, passage we see the seven prayers of Jesus Christ or the seven words that he uttered on the cross. And the passage that we have read today uh, can see uh, two important things in this passage. And first thing is a cosmic response when Jesus uh, was dying. And then second thing was the uh, last word that Jesus uttered before his death. Or this is the seventh uh, prayer or seventh cry or seventh words on the cross and uh, this two uh, important thing uh, we can see in this passage in the uh, cosmic response that we can see a two important thing the first thing is the darkness the darkness prevailed on the earth uh, three hours from six hour to ninth hour around three hours there was a darkness why there was a darkness when Jesus was dying on the cross and we uh, see that when Jesus was on the cross he was going through suffering he was going through struggle he was going through loneliness he felt even a uh, father has him has left him alone on the cross and he prayed oh god why have you forsaken me so therefore the father wanted to assure his presence or father wanted to signal his presence by sending the darkness so that darkness reflects here that god is seeing the sufferings of Jesus Christ. It is not that God is absent or God is not seeing or God is not listening or God is not aware about the sufferings of Jesus Christ. So God wanted to exp uh, God wanted to signal his presence by sending the darkness. We know that the darkest hours of our life is happening now. Many countries are going through the darkest hours and many are in isolation, many are quarantined and many are feeling loneliness and many are feeling left alone. Maybe you are emotionally uh, struggling or maybe you think that somebody to care for you, somebody to ask how are you, how are you doing and somebody to talk with you the darkest hours of your life but there is an assurance even in this darkest hours that is happening in each one of our life that is the assurance of God's presence and God is saying that you are in danger or you are in a suffering or you he knows that you are going through a toughest situation of your life and second thing that occurred as a cosmic response was the uh, the temple's uh, curtain or veil was torn from top to bottom. Why temple's uh, curtain was torn from top to bottom? 
and this curtain was protected holy of holies and we uh, know that the israelites believed that the god's presence is there in the temple and only high priest is allowed to enter inside the temple once in a year now the death of jesus christ and the sufferings of jesus christ has given an opportunity for everyone to enter into the god's presence and it is a privilege that god has given to everyone to enter into the god's presence and now any times and every time we can enter into his presence and call him abba father so that is the uh, assurance god is giving to the people that his presence will be there with all uh, will be there with always and to everybody and now anyone can approach his presence and his presence is assured to the people and the third uh, thing that we see uh, jesus last word it's in the cr- uh, cross that father into your hand i commit my spirit and jesus has an assurance that the father is the one who has sent him to this world and he has ass- uh, he has accomplished uh, his mission that uh, father has entrusted to him and now he is committing his spirit to the father and because he know that even he is he will die and he is going to resurrect again and this this verse that is taken from psalm number 31 verse 5 and there david's prayer that lord i god i commit my spirit into your hand and psalm number 31 is the prayer of israelites and usually in the judaism judaistic time the later judaistic time israelites used to pray this prayer the psalm number 31 as a prayer in the evening prayer and they pray that lord we are going to sleep and lord you take care of us and this is the same prayer that jesus has in the cross and that the prayer that father i am going to sleep and lord you resurrect me as i have as you have promised me and it is the assurance that father will resurrect him again so the resurrection is the hope for the humanity that jesus offer uh, to the, uh, uh, offer and uh, that is the presence of god and resurrection is also assured to the people who believe in him now this is the greatest hope when the people are going through uh, hopelessness people are going through the difficult situation this is the assurance that god wants to give that the assurance of resurrection when billy graham visited germany for his meeting and he met a uh, chancellor conrad adweiner and uh, conrad adweiner asked uh, billy graham do you believe in resurrection so he replied to him that yes i do believe that's why i preach the gospel to the people and then he replied again that uh, by looking through the window he saw the ruins of germany and he said i see there is no hope for the humanity outside the resurrection there is no hope for the humanity outside the resurrection so god is giving an assurance that the assurance of hope and assurance that even if you die you will resurrect so let me pray for you in this morning would you like to join me uh, join with me in prayer i would like to pray for you dear lord we thank you praise you for this wonderful time thank you lord for the greatest assurance that you have given us as jesus was on the cross 
felt left alone and nobody was there with him and then the darkness came to assure assure god's presence that sufferings of jesus is the will of god thank you lord for the darkest hours of life and these hours we understand that god is with us and god is taking care of us a lot and even if we go through the loneliness and the feeling emotionally helpless and hopeless situation and we understand that your presence is there with us and we also understand that any time we can approach your presence so the suffering that giving us the assurance that any time we can come to your presence and call out your name a lot and lord we also have an assurance of the resurrection the hope that we'll trust in you even if we go through the suffering and struggle situation and there is the end for those these suffering and struggles lord you help us to understand your will in our life in jesus name we pray amen